Children with autism, they are among the most vulnerable in this province and just two months before the Wynn government is set to unveil its new autism therapy program, City News has the exclusive story of this report that was written by a panel of experts on autism therapy with recommendations to the government. They want science to guide its policy, but this is sure to be controversial. It's recommending that IBI, the most intensive form of therapy, be rolled into ABA therapy. There's overwhelming evidence to support that ABA is the gold standard in treatment for individuals with autism. First and foremost, um, that is by far the most important recommendation. <laughs> ABA, Applied Behavior Analysis. It's what a task force of experts in autism therapy is recommending the government use to help children with autism. But they want it to look completely different than the service that is currently being offered in Ontario. They are calling for greater flexibility with a program customized for each child and no age cap. They want the therapy to continue as long as it is beneficial. And they want it to start as soon as a child shows signs of autism even before diagnosis when they are as young as 16 months old. As yeah. early as possible. Mm -hmm. And that's key. The report finds that if a child gets early intervention, it can save up to $3.7 million over their lifetime because they'll be more independent and require less care. Help our kids succeed! Help us! Parents have been very vocal about this issue, launching the campaign Autism Doesn't End at Five after the government's ill-guided decision last year to cap intensive therapy at the age of five. The government quickly backed down, but after that fiasco, Ontaba decided to write this new report. We definitely felt compelled to present what should be considered as evidence-based practice in Ontario. Okay. Absolutely, okay. yeah. And to influence the development yeah. of the new program. Yeah. Ontaba says its recommendations could mean many more hours of ABA therapy for children, but eliminating IBI is going to be a tough sell for many parents, like Josie Chavez, whose five-year-old son has autism. Uh, changing the wording and saying that our kids are going to get this kind of intensity from 20 to 40 hours when IBI is already doing that. So what are we, what are we investing in exactly? We're putting $500 million into what? Into a name change? Right now, more than 21,000 children are on wait lists for autism therapy. That's more than the number of children who are actually receiving it. Now, in a statement to City News, the Minister of Children and Youth Services said he's looking forward to reading this report. And coming up, I also take the report to a parent who has led the charge against the government in the hopes for better services for children with autism. We'll tell you what she has to say about it. And more now on our exclusive story of this task force report written by a panel of experts on autism therapy. And they want the government to replace the current autism therapy program with one that's more flexible, offers earlier intervention and gives children as many hours of therapy that they need for as long as they need it. Now, we spoke to one mother who has led the charge against the, the government protesting against the current autism program to see if she thinks that this is the way to go. Here is more now of my conversation with her. What needs to be done to fix this broken system? Because you have more than 21,000 children that are on wait lists for years. Honestly, I think they have to take, the government needs to take a look at direct funding options. It, it saves money, okay, um, because you don't have all these overhead costs, okay. Uh, with direct service option, uh, these are, you know, the regionals that are um, under the government and, you know, you're paying for a building, you're paying for the maintenance, you're paying for lunches, breaks, benefits. So when you say direct funding, is it give the money to me and I'm going to find a private provider? Yes, or it could mean giving it directly to the service provider, to the service provider of our choice. Okay. Okay, um, and that's how you're actually gonna save the money and you're gonna address this massive wait list. That's the way to do it. Now, the government will unveil its new autism therapy program in June, and the Liberals need parents like Josie to buy into it. They're plunging in the polls. An election is just over a year away, and they cannot be seen to be failing vulnerable children.